wanted to take an opportunity to make a video using this little balancing stand that I made a few back. So I've got my little small granite plate leveled out here and I think people know that you can cross check your levels by just flipping them 180 degrees. That's what I'm doing here. Not critical really in this application, but I just thought I'd show it for interest. In the build video for this balancing stand, which I will link right here, there was some question as to why I chose brass. And there's the answer. This is the capstan pulley, motor pulley, out of a one, uh, Tascam 122 Mark II. And I thought I would just take the opportunity here to demonstrate one of the reasons why I made this balancing stand. The other one was for small uh, DC motors. There's the original balance mark. So I think I'll just I'll put that this direction so the camera can see. I'm I'm actually looking at it from the other direction, but to show the camera where the factory balanced this. You can see the thrust side of that shaft is just uh, has very little protrusion. So it's really important to try to set the capstan parallel with the balancing stand so it doesn't run off. And that's also the reason why I milled the inside relief on those uh, inside faces. Well, for all intents and purposes on this slow rotational motor. This factory balances uh, fine. It's it's really quite good. You can see it's still just a tiny bit heavy where they did the original balancing where they removed material. But it's it's not bad at all. But the idea here is that the assembly should be able to remain in whatever position it's placed in and it's apparent that it wants to return to the same position pretty much every time but uh, it's not it's not bad it's really not bad this is totally passable as it is but since I'm here and I'm doing it anyway and I've got it set up and and it seems to be consistently slightly heavy in the same spot it was originally. I think I'll just go ahead and maybe chamfer that hole just a little bit, remove a tiny drop of material from it, and see if I can get it even better than what it is now. And I'm just going to take off the minimum amount that I can here. I'd rather be looking at the extra material than looking for it. Give it a nice little blow off. Let's see if we can perceive any change.
I think this is looking very good. Of course, there's the original mark indicating the opposite of the heavy spot. And it's not returning exactly the way it was before. Yep, I think that's... I think this is way more than satisfactory on this. So I won't be showing the uh, transport results on this video. I will show it in a future one. And also I have plans to do a, another video balancing a motor armature and hopefully be able to do a before and after with a vibration analyzer. I'm trying to figure out a way to mount the motor in such a way that the results to the vibration analyzer can be amplified so that it can read the much smaller vibrations on these tiny motors. So there it is. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.